Hi all, this is just another quick video for Bot War, and I just thought I'd quickly discuss um, discuss <laughs> the way in which uh, Bot War is meant to be played and the premise behind it. So the idea with Bot War is that um, it's a game played with between five and ten models per side. The games themselves are about 80 points, which is these are the points up here in the top corner of the stat cards. And the game is designed to actually play in under an hour. So the idea is that um, it's quite a strategic and tactical game at the same time. Strategic in that you have to plan out all your moves well in advance in the, at the start of each turn using the way you stack energy on the cards. And I'll, and I'll have a video about that also. Um, and you plan stuff out at the start. Those plans can be damaged by other people, um, what they do with their um, tactics and, and strategy in the sense that they can be stripping energy off your models um, because you have to spend that to defend them. Um, so it can actually ruin your plans. But um, the idea is that the closer you get to your enemy, the more brutal the game becomes and the faster it come, becomes. So the, the more models um, that, uh, that are destroyed, the, the game speeds up really fast. So models activate in strategy rating order here. So you can see that top star, he activates on a four, which means he will go before Nebulous, who, who um, activates on a seven. So, uh, and obviously these are two different uh, players, so it doesn't matter um, what activation um, level that your model is. It's it's based on who's got the highest, whether it's your your opponent or yourself. So so you might active you can stack a, a an army list where you might activate most of your models before strategy rating five, or you can stack your um, army list so you activate mostly after five. However, the best practice is always to have a broad range of activations um, so you're relatively even across the whole um, across the whole range of, of the turn. Um, it actually can be pretty difficult to play if um, all your stuff activates really early and you're, you can't actually then react to anything that your opponent does in that same turn. So, or likewise, um, if you activate everybody really late, you have to sort of sit and watch as your opponent sort of owns the battlefield um, for half the turn, and then you, you try and react as best as possible. So you can't really be as proactive in your strategy if you have everybody activating so late in the game. So... I just wanted to go through that, but um, once again, if the models are further away from each other, namely over 10 inches, then the game actually goes relatively slow. And you can play the whole game like that. You can play the whole game at a full distance, just peppering shots off, but the, um, the brutality of the game doesn't really kick in um, unless you've got certain models with special abilities um, for long range, but there's not many of those. So the game really doesn't kick in until you actually get um, within 10 inches and then it just gets dialed up to 11. So um, the other thing I want to speak to which is really important in the game is that there is no, there are no redundant characters. Even the weaker characters like Top Star is valuable in Bot War. And the reason for that is actually the way the energy works. So, for instance, Top Star only generates one energy cube. However, he's efficient, which actually gives him an activation for free. So, he can actually, he, he's not necessarily that powerful, but you'll find that the larger, more powerful uh, models, they can be, if you take too many large powerful models, then what happens is we get a thing that we've nicknamed starvation. So you find that the larger, more powerful models don't generate the enough energy required by themselves 
in order to do to dominate the game. So if you do just decide to take a large model, then not only are you um, is that offset by the fact that the points for that model is much larger, but it's also offset by the fact that you don't generate as much energy per point. So I'm sure there's some mathematicians out there that would work out what is the best type of force to take based on energy per point, but they actually then might not be the strongest models. So energy starvation is a thing in the game, but it's it's not so dominant in the game that um, it's, it's only dominant enough in the game to stop large models just running rough shot over everything. So I've got one more video to do and I'll do it on multiple close combats, um, which is a great way to deal with the larger models in the game. And I will um, catch you guys later.